TV, Channel 61, New England's most powerful television station. Just when you thought it was safe, it's back. The Gong Show! With celebrity judges Marsha Warfield, John Matusak, and Jane Wheatland, Joey Carbone, and the Gong Show guys. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the toast of the host, Drew Don Blue. Welcome to the Gong Show. We want you to sit back and relax after our show. Here comes a couple of dancers who, like Fred Astaire and Tommy Tunes, use their feet. <laughs> Welcome, Atomic Tron. I'm oh, sorry, now, in the very beginning there, I, I called you Atomic Tron. It's Automatic Tron, right? Yeah, I'm right. sorry. Now, Tron, is that like uh, short for Tronsky or Trontometer? Or what, what is Tron? <laughs> Tron? Like a robot. Huh? Like a robot. Like a robot, okay. Yeah, robotic like a machine. Well, this machine looks like it's running pretty fine, I'll tell you that. Let's look at the scores from the judges here. Now, you can get anywhere from zero to ten. We start off with Marsha Warfield. I think you liked this act, didn't you, Marsha? Well, I need a, a man with motion like that. Me ten. All right. Now from John Matuzak, let's see what kind of score for Automatic Tron. I give the guys a TBG. Tall timbers, blue skies, and giant redwoods. 9.5, brothers. Nine. All right, that's a nine. Yeah. Okay. And now uh, Jane's got a new uh, album coming out, right, called uh, Fur. Actually, it's mm -hmm. out right now, so uh, maybe you guys can dance to that, huh? Let's yeah. find out what kind of a score from Jane Wheatland. Here we go. I gave them a nine. All right, a nine. Very good. These are very good numbers. What, do you, what, what sort of work do you guys do? I'm a computer operator. And, and what does he do? He's a salesman. Salesman? Okay. Well, you've sold this pretty well, I'd say. <laughs> All right, this is the computer age, and we're into it right here. You ready now? We're going to add these up. <laughs> That's good. Do that again. Good. Okay. Now, Marsha gave you a 10. Then from John, you got a score of a 9. Jane gave you a 9 also. You add all that up. We're talking about a 28 for Automatic Tron. Very well done. See you guys later on. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Well, our next act plays the spoons and probably hopes to go on maybe to bigger things like ladles and spatulas and things like that. Just about any household equipment, actually. Please welcome Eddie Karras.
let that happen to you, buddy. Well, I'm sorry, too. Yeah, yeah, this is a terrific act, and I don't know why. Uh, Marsha and Jane both, uh, you both got involved in this one. Uh, Marsha, you want to take the responsibility? To spoons. How's that? There are better ways to use spoons. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Thanks very much for coming by, Eddie. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, if you've never been in group therapy, you may want to consider it after you see these next acts that are coming up when we return on The Gong Show. <laughs> now, if you've never heard of this next act, you're part of a large, growing organization and maybe everybody that ever lived. Here's Oscar Bergen. I had a girl, Donna was her name. Since she left me, I've never been the same. Cause I love my girl, oh Donna. Sorry. Oh, yeah, is it okay? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, all right, he's gonna be all right. <laughs> Marcia, you're the guy. You're, <laughs> you're the guy. You're, you're, you're the one that, that gonged him here. Uh, I want to know why. Donna told me to. <laughs> is, there, uh, is there a Donna? Uh, no, no, there's not. Yeah, you just kind of made it up to use uh, the song? Yeah. yeah. What, what is it that you do? What do you, what do, you do? I'm a cashier and I'm a physician. You're what? I'm a guitar I'm cashier. Your cashier. Okay. All right. Well, thanks very much for coming by, and I'm sorry you got gone, but I'm sure we'll see you again on the Gong Show. Okay. Bye, bye, buddy. Yeah. Oh. Marsha, Marsha, I knew you weren't a guy. Come on. I knew it. Here's an act now that's here by request. He requested that we put him on the show. So, if you would, if you would please welcome Ramesh. Yeah? Yes, sir. You're not from here, are you? No, no, Ramesh. No, yeah, I think so. Now, Ramin, what is that? A cough medicine in India? What is that? I'm, I'm an actor. Uh-huh, yeah. I work in movies. You work in movies? Yeah. yeah. Indian movies? Yeah, that's You play right. an Indian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yeah. I like him. I like Ramesh a lot. Uh, let's see, Marcia and Jane got together because John was out here. Uh, Jane? 
Well, Don, the, the best thing about being on the gong show this week, I've gotten so many new fashion hints. And I think Ramesh is a good example of what's going to be in in the next few months, so. Okay. Maybe a little early on this. Thanks, Ramesh. Okay, yeah, okay. Hey. Here comes an act now that is ahead of its time. But uh, we decided to put him on now, and we might as well get it over with, I guess. His name is Peter Chan. Hi. My name is Peter Chan, and I'm a good driver. <laughs> what is this about Oriental drivers? Why do they drive so slow? They should join NASA, NASA, National Asian Speeding Association. <laughs> now, if NASA couldn't train them to drive faster, then we can change their speedometers on their cars. So they think they like driving 45 on the freeway, when actually they're driving 65. Ha, 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 ha. Now, I don't like to drive, because every time I drive on the freeway, I have to cut somebody off. Don't ask me why, because I have to look in the rear view mirror. And every time I look, the driver behind and all the passengers, everybody shaking their heads. I hate it because I know what they're thinking. They're thinking, another Oriental driver. <laughs> yeah. Now you guys come to a stop sign, you stop. I come to a stop sign, I just keep going and look the other way. All the other drivers saw me not looking. They were happy to stop to let me go first. That's why I'm an Oriental driver and I've earned it. You know, the Orientals, they like to save face. I don't like my face. That's why I don't want to save it. Now, Ronnie Dangerfield. I, I thought this act was very, very, uh, very inventive. You, you have a big Chinese following? Uh, not really, but yeah, I wrote but... all my all my own jokes. So. I'll bet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were we were thinking that. We were actually thinking that. John Matuzak has gonged you, and we're going to find out why. I really uh, like this guy. He's a very nice person. He dresses well, but he tells jokes like he drives. <laughs> but I like you. But I like you. Uh, what, what sort of work do you do? Well, um, to make a living, I can't make a living doing this. Uh, yeah. I, I'm a computer programmer. Yeah. Computer what? Programmer. 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 Computer yeah. programmer. Thank you very much. Hey. That was a great act. Yeah. Whoa. Ah, go program yours. Here we go. I want you to stick around because the gong show will continue in just a minute or so. Coming up on the next episode... Okay, well, welcome back. I'd like to welcome back our celebrity panel, Marsha Warfield, of course, from Night Court. Great yes. to have you here. Thank you. It's now, great what, to be here. What are you doing lately, Marsha? I'm traveling around the country bringing warmth and merriment and humor to the uh, underprivileged masses. Well, isn't that... What a sweetheart, huh? What a great lady. John Matuzak here today. John, of course, former, uh, former Los Angeles and Oakland Raider, now... Big movie star. I'm saying big movie star. Uh, the new movie, what's it called, John? I uh, just finished a new uh, action-adventure thing, uh, my first starring role in a thing called Maximum Force. You'll like it. You'll like it. Now, yeah. Well, and our third panelist this week is Jane Weedland. Jane, uh, your album is called Fur. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the second single will be out soon. Yeah, the new single's called Inside a Dream, and I'd like to personally urge each and every one of you to rush right out and buy it. <laughs> right as soon as the show's over. All right. And I'd also a terrific. Make, I need to make a comment. I think yeah. this audience today seems especially cruel. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you noticed that? Just an observation, of course, but that's yeah. good. They're, they're, you're that's, mean. You're that's what we're looking for in this mean. panel. Okay, thank you. A terrific panel. We're glad you're here this week. Now... Let's get on with it. Here we go. You can see this lady in Crocodile Dundee 2. She's going to the 745 showing. Here's Francesca. Let me say the tears away Since we've been together Ooh, loving you forever Here's all I need
I, uh, I was looking over your, um, I was looking over your card uh, before you came out, and I see that your father's in the Secret Service. Is that right? Uh, he just retired. Yes. Uh -huh. Have you ever met uh, like President Reagan or anybody? I met him once. Really? Yeah. yeah I met him once, and then I met him again, and uh, he didn't remember me. He didn't remember meeting me the first time. So. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Hi, this is my daughter, Francesca. This is the President of the United States. Very good. All right, well, let's, uh, let's check out these scores here, all right? We've got Marsha ready to score Francesca. Well, anybody who can wear that little skirt <laughs> deserves a nine. All right, look out, Tina. Yeah. Okay, that was the first time that John Matuzak looked away right there for just a second. John? <laughs> Well, I won't forget you, and Al Green would be proud the way he did a song. I'll give you ten. All right. And from Jane Wheedland. A very large voice coming out of a very small person. I gave you a nine. All right. Whoa. These are great scores. Let's, uh, let's recap the scoring here. First of all, from Marcia, she gave you a nine. You got a ten from John. And then Jane gives you a nine, a grand total of 28. Very good. We'll see you a little bit later on. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, give that woman an inch. She'll make a dress out of it. Yes. That is some act. Let me tell you, listen, you've got an act. You think you can do something like that? We want to see you right here. There's a number that comes up at the end of the show. If you've got an act and want to be on the gong show, call the number. Call the number, and you'll be on your way. We'll be right back with our winner of this show after this message. I'm dreaming of a white... Christmas, my favorite time of the year. Hi, I'm Louise Mandrell, and I'd like to tell you about a new album by Sessions called Christmas Wishes. This new four-record collection has over 50 great holiday classics performed by your favorite country singers. Just listen. Pretty paper, pretty ribbons of blue. It came upon a midnight clear. Christmas Wishes is filled with a special arrangement of Christmas favorites, from jingle bells to a truly fine collection of traditional hymns and carols. Here's more. Wishes is available on four records or three cassette tapes for only $19.95. Two compact discs, only $24.95. Here's how to order. Credit card and COD customers call toll-free 1-800-248-6800 or save COD fees by sending $19.95 for four records or three cassette tapes or $24.95 for two compact discs, plus $3 shipping and handling to Christmas Wishes, 968 Farmington Avenue, Department TIC, West Hartford, Connecticut. Bruce was a dentist who loved to operate. Well, he certainly cleared my sinuses. We met every Tuesday. Not you too. Until someone performed fatal surgery on him. Why would one of his women want to kill him? He took some pictures. God, I'd love to kill a dentist. Raul Julia. I suspect everybody. Oh, well, I, I... Susan Sarandon. I could never be intimate with, 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 with someone who wore a pinky ring. Compromising positions. Tonight at 8 on Channel 61. time for that magic moment. This has been a terrific show. We'd like to thank all of the contestants for taking part in the show. We'd like to thank Joey Carbone and those mindless musicians over there. Now, this was a tough one because we had a tie at 28 points. Marsha Warfield, John Matuzak, uh, Jane Wheedland, of course, had to confer and make up their mind who was going to pick out this $701 check. This incredible trophy, a tie between Francesca and Automatic Tron. Our winner is 
Automatic Tron. Where are they? Here they are. Come on over. Get your trophy. Come on over, get your check. The men with inflatable pants. Who will win next time? We don't know, but you be here for the gong show. Bye-bye, everybody. If you have a weird or unusual act and would like to be on the gong show, call 213-442-3575. Some of our Tonight at 8, Susan received. Sarandon and Raul Julia team up no on the trail of a murderer a swab in for your family. Because a swab by any other name just isn't the same. The Episauna. A 10-minute facial at home. No healthy skin should be without it. Tonight at 8, Susan Sarandon and Raul Julia team up on the trail of a murderer in the mystery thriller, Compromising Positions. But now, the girls flip over a handsome English gentleman who may have stolen more than their hearts on Freeze Company, next on Channel 61. exciting new power set. Prom night. Now get who's that girl with a beautiful dress. Perfect prom maxi. Perfect prom maxi. She's scented and comes with a scented necklace. Perfect prom maxi. Cheerios gives kids the power to vote on issues like stopping pollution and housing the homeless. Thank you. Announcing Cheerios Kid Power Election. By voting on the issues and sending in your ballot, you and a kid from every state might win a trip to Washington to tell a congressman how you voted. Details in specially marked boxes of Cheerios.